um, your head is like halfway down the screen. Yeah, but I'm live now, so All right. I might have other people coming in. Lord, we thank you for loving us, for dying to set us free. We thank you that you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lead us, guide us, fill us again with your spirit. We thank you for who you are. In Christ's name, amen. Good amen. morning, all. Good morning. We're in, we're in First John this morning. Uh, so there's some thoughts about First John. I would really like to believe that First John was written before the fall of Jerusalem, before the temple was burned and all of that. Um, there are other people, and there, there are commentators who believe that. And there are other people who think that it happened 15 or 20 years after the fall of Jerusalem. But I would think, I would think that that's such a monumental historical fact that John would have made reference to it if, uh, so that's why I really like an earlier writing of this rather than a later writing. Um, it doesn't change the value that John wrote this and that he is, uh, he is the disciple that Jesus loved. Uh, there's some thoughts about it might be some other John, some other place, but I don't think so. It has the same style to me as the Gospel of John. In fact, some some of the words overlap. Um, so here we have John uh, writing about the Lord Jesus, uh, and now he's an older man. And so he's seen the Gospel go out to the known world. And he's seen the uh, the variance that people put on the scripture and the getting away from the original word of God. So if you when we read this, we'll talk about two words a lot, light, L-I-G-T-H, and love, uh, A-G-A-P-E, I mean agape. So and life. Uh, yeah, light yeah. and love are the um are the themes. But John also makes sure that you understand that he walked with the Lord Jesus directly for those parts of three years. So, yeah. okay, enough background. Yeah, he's uh, right. He's also the uh, uh, one disciple, one uh, that uh, was not uh, martyred per se. I mean, he was exiled. Uh, so he lived the of the longest life of any the thing with that is that <clears throat> he was also uh, uh seeing uh, uh, witness to the fact that the gospel um actually cooled in its um acceptance after a while it's um there's still a firm body of believers but as to be expected as it uh worked its way into the world there's certainly still more worldly people out there and it got tempered and um he's he's uh, i think this this work helps to re-spark it and bring back the awe and the wonder of it all um the uh, miraculous um intercession of god becoming man uh to save men um yeah. and uh, uh very important very important role he played in his uh, latter years. Amen. So, and he, and he may have been martyred, but we don't have record of it. Uh, yeah, it may have been that he was just exiled, but it may be that he was martyred. We don't, we don't want to. Yeah, it's hard to speculate about what we don't know for certain. And we know about the martyrdom of the other disciples because of early writings about them, but. Um, <laughs> Lots of possibilities here, but this is the John who walked with Jesus, who Jesus entrusted his mother to um, while he was dying on the cross. This is that John. Mm, the beloved disciple. Yes. Christian Standard Bible will try. Verse 1. This is uh, 1 John chapter 1, verse 1, 1, 1, 1. What was from the beginning... What we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have observed and have touched with our hands concerning the word of life. Keep going. The life, yeah, sorry. Keep that going, the life Richard. was revealed and we have seen it and we have testified. We, can, well, we testify and declare to you 
the eternal life that was with the Father and was revealed to us. Keep going. Verse three. Yes, please. What we, yeah, what we have seen and the uh, and heard, we also declare to you, so that you may have fellowship with us. And indeed, our fellowship is with the Father and with his son, Jesus Christ. We are writing these things so that our joy, and I'm going to add your joy, <laughs> which appears in other versions, uh, may be complete. Okay. It's a joyous thing. He's trying yeah. to get across here. Okay. So the Lord Jesus in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And all things were created by him and through him and for him. Um, That's the gospel. Yes. Gospel, of John. gospel yes. of John. So what he's emphasizing here is that he was there. <laughs> he was there not at the creation of the universe, but he was there writing this about the Lord Jesus. Um, and Linda says, firsthand experience um, makes good testimonies. Exactly. So we have observed this stuff from the beginning of the ministry of Jesus. We have observed this stuff that Jesus taught us about the beginning of creation, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have observed and touched with our hands concerning the word of life. So there's uh, the we in there means that John isn't alone at this point. He is with others who have also heard and seen and uh, observed. But it's also um, not just about John. It's about us. It's about us people whom are fellowshipping with John. And I just lost it on the beam up here. Okay. Um, okay. Um, yeah, let me uh, just, uh, okay. So what, what we've seen from the beginning, we've heard seen with our eyes, have observed and have touched with our hands concerning the word of life. That's Christian standard. Going on to verse two in New Living Translation, this one who is life itself was re revealed to us and we have seen him talking plainly about Jesus, of course. And now we testify and proclaim to you that he is the one who is eternal life. He was with the father and then he was revealed to us. Okay. So um, very nicely put uh, via the um, NLT. Awful lot go going on here. Um, uh, moving on to verse three in the NLT, we proclaim to you what we ourselves have actually seen and heard so that you may have fellowship with us. Our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, Amen. And we are writing these things, yeah, we are writing these things so that you may fully share our joy. It's a very familial Amen. thing here going on. There As is. Jesus wrote of the unity of the body in uh, John 17 in the gospel, um, Jesus in us and Jesus in the Father and the Father in us through Jesus, etc. That's the fellowship he's talking about, I think, here in verse three. Um, our fellowship is with the Father and with his son, Jesus Christ. And this wants to share uh, because, as we said before, in verse four, this is a joyous thing all around. Okay. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We have two guests in our uh, panel this morning. Um, so what was from the beginning? We have heard, we have seen with our eyes, we have observed, and we have touched with our hands concerning the word of life. So the Lord Jesus physically walked on the earth. The Lord Jesus physically touched lives. The Lord Jesus ministered to the 12 and to the 120 and then to the thousands. And mm -hmm. we have seen this, and we are eyewitnesses of it, and we have paid for this with our lives. And that life was revealed, and we testify to you and declare to you eternal life that was in the Father and real to us. What we have seen and hear and declare to you so that you may have fellowship with us. And indeed, our fellowship was with the Father and the Son, 
We are writing these things so your joy and our joy might be complete. So what we have here is a, a picture of a man who loved Jesus and paid the price for it. It cost him everything he had to follow Jesus, and he did. But we want you to know that happens. all of this happens because of this J-O-Y word that we may know joy. Um, so God has revealed to us the Lord Jesus. I am an eyewitness of it. And his personal testimony is so powerful, but so is ours 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years later, our personal testimony has power also. We're writing these things that your joy may be complete. So, yep. so it sets up the whole, who is Jesus? Jesus was physically real on earth. Um, Jesus is the creator. Jesus is the savior. Jesus is our hope and our promise. And uh, from our panel, any comments on this? Uh, I know you just walked in on it late, but any comments on this? Any comments? Okay. We think about joy as different than happiness. Happiness is, in de is dependent upon our situation. Oh, it's a sunny day. I'm happy. Oh, it's all oh, whatever. I'm happy. But joy... Joy isn't about happiness. Sometimes they happen at the same time. We can have joy in a miserable, rainy, windy, ugly day. We can have joy when our health isn't perfect. We can have joy because joy comes from having um, serious connection, serious relationship with the creator of the universe uh, that our joy and your joy might be complete. Yeah. Go ahead, Rich, pick it up in Rich five. Point. Yes, on to five, uh, CSB. Yep. Uh, this is the message we have heard from him and to glare to you. God is light and there is absolutely no darkness in him. What an incredible um, description, thinking about God is light, there's no darkness in him. God is light, there is no darkness in him. And remember, we'll talk about light and love a lot. Um, so, panel, what do we think about light? What do we think about God is light? Uh, the light is yes. God is in the light. It's not darkness. It's it's the uh, it's God. His presence is light. There you go. That's powerful, sister. Yeah. God has no evil in him, all about good. Amen. There's no darkness. There's no evil in him. There's no hopelessness in him. There is God's peace light. and love. That's right. God is light. God is love. God is peace. Yep. And, and the he, first thing he brought to creation was light. There you go. First thing he said was, let there be light. He started with that goodness of himself. There you go. As the primary ingredient of all creation. It's, see, the problem is we 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 can't comprehend God like we we comprehend him, but we can't his goodness and grace. We just it's all overwhelming. It's just <laughs> it is. God, God loves uh, loves us so much. Then he love he loves he loves humanity, man. He loves his people. That's right. And the thing is that he just uh, he just loves us with a burning love. And That's right. You can't change that. And he loves us all equally. He doesn't love me more than you. He loves us equal. Yep, exactly Amen. right. There's yep. a, sometimes you, you can have God's favor, like people get a favor or something, sure. but it's not uh right. And he has different giftings for us, yeah, and different callings in our you life. You have a gift, I got a gift, she's got a gift that you can't take away from us. If the good thing about it, uh with our uh, God, like we can go out in the world and get ambushed, and people go against us, but there's one thing they can't do, yeah. they can't take. God away from us. You never can take that away from me. That's something to look. I, I, don't, I don't go to Satanist meetings and worship the devil, man. That's evil. But we have God. They can't take that away from me, the power of God. There you go. I got a backlash saying that the Holy Spirit hit me. <laughs> Six. I'm still like crying almost, man. There you go. That's fine. Six, please. Verse six. Hang on. Let me just scroll my screen here. And if we say we have fellowship with him, and yet walk in the darkness, we are lying and are not practicing the truth. Okay, so 
often in my life as a pastor, I have people say, well, I love God. And you, and you look up and, and they're cussing and they're, they're bitter and they're like, but they're walking in darkness and we need to not walk in darkness. We need to walk in the light. And, and fellowship is more than coffee and donuts after church. Fellowship is a deep connection. Like when I, when I preached in Jamaica, I had fellowship with some of those people and I had just met them a minute ago. It, it's a connection that feels like family. And, and I've had that happen in a number of different places. Kathy and I are missionaries, so we go to different churches, and we walk into some places and immediately connect and have uh, koinonia, have fellowship with believers that we just met, like we've, like we've known them. I, uh, I, I had a friend that I knew 40 years ago, and he came to church, and we went to lunch, and we had fellowship together like, like there was no decades of difference between us so if we say we have fellowship with god and we walk in darkness we're lying and not practicing the truth hello welcome got a chair for you here hey thank you so there is no darkness in him there is no we talked about that earlier uh from our panel here there's no God is true, God is holy, and God is has no darkness. He has no he has no evil in him. He has no uh but if we say we have fellowship with God and walk in darkness, we're lying and not practicing truth. How about seven. Yes, but uh, let's see if we walk in the light, as he himself is in the light, himself is the light. We have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Okay. So what is the condition for having our sins forgiven? That we walk out what God has told us to do. If we walk in the light, as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. There's there's like 600 messages in this verse. Fellowship. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about walking first, though. How do we walk in the light? Blameless. Say again. Blameless. Blamelessly. Good testimony. Yeah. Yes, give a good testimony. No. Say it louder. Water baptism. Water baptism. Okay, if we're obedient water baptism, then we're walking in that light. What yeah, else do we need? Obedience is the key, I think. There it is. Yeah, there you go. It's not just talking the talk. It's walking it out. If it's uh, yeah. it's doing what God would have us to do. Uh, it involves prayer, and it involves mm -hmm. the, the Word of God, and it involves fellowship, and it involves worship. It involves compassion. He Himself is the light. Then we have fellowship with one another. Now let's talk about the blood of Jesus cleansing us from sin. How does that work? The yeah, and the blood of Jesus, right. The blood of Jesus, Jesus fulfilled the law that required blood sacrifice for sin to be truly uh, paid for. That's right. The, I mean, that goes all the way back to Le Leviticus. And it, because of that, because of that sacrifice, our sin uh, is paid for. That's right. And that's what allows us to have a righteous relationship with him. It's a, a debt we could not pay, he paid on our behalf by shedding his own blood. There you go. So without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sin. And you just think how amazing that is and how unnatural that is. And yet Jesus' blood paid for our sin and he cleanses us. So it's, it's, uh, it's not that God forgets sin. It, the scripture seems to say that, but God can't forget anything. It expunges us. It, it cleans our record of the sin. So when the Father looks upon us, he doesn't see us as we were. He sees us as we are, cleansed from our sin. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, because of uh, Jesus' sacrifice for us. Uh, on the contrary, though, this goes back and forth, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, so forth. 
Uh, on the other hand, verse eight, if we say we have no sin, Rich, we are deceiving ourselves. Yeah, what? Hold on, let's, we haven't finished the discussion on seven. Panel, any other thoughts on seven? Sorry. <laughs> The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. The blood of Jesus cleanses you from sin. That's right. How does that work? Uh, well, he died on the cross. He shed his blood. Yes. With the, and he rose the third day. Amen. Preach it, brother. Amen. And, that, and so that's, that's available to whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord. But not everybody says, no, I don't want that. Or if yeah. you're Jamaican, no but me. You just think, okay, why would you not take cleansing? And the answer is because some folks like the way they're living more than they want to submit to the to the cleansing power of Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Other yeah. thoughts? The price yeah. to pay, though. There's a price to pay for that. Exactly. Mike? It says for, um, I mean, it, this is the sins for everybody. That's right. It, it says from all sins. Um, that's pretty big, you know, uh, because because here we are, we sin every day, and um, if we bring it to the Lord, He 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 He's good to forgive our sins. That's right. In the blood of Jesus, um, you, it's a recommitting every day, every minute, every Amen. you know, it, as it says in the scripture. In the same, in the same that uh, you know, in number seven, uh, walk, you know, as right. he himself in the light. Yeah, and that means being obedient to God. Sometimes it means forfeiting sleep. Sometimes food. Sometimes it means you got to go do a job that you do not want to do for <laughs> someone you don't want to do it. You yes. have to serve and do what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Um, and that is how we're supposed to walk and you know something another thing here is um the fellowshipping with one another you know it's not easy sometimes for folks at home or people who are sick and can't get to church that we're not able to visit them or uh they're not able to visit us for whatever reasons um, that they can have fellowship and sometimes fellowship could be online you know yes. talking to friends or hearing the word of god so Amen. um fellowship can mean a lot of things and i think it's very important i think it's important for the people at home as well as us yes um i'm learning to get here up early and to come in the morning amen um, because i want all i can get of it all there day go. long there you go so um, yeah. Okay, let's read eight and nine, and then we'll spend more time with these tomorrow. Yeah, eight and nine. Well, this is the end of the chapter eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Um, okay, beginning in eight, if we say we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, on the other hand, so this is going back and forth, on the other hand, on the other hand. Nine, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. It's a heck of a way to end the chapter, but that's that's how it does. <laughs> <laughs> With the, the chapter before, where it was, I mean, the uh, verse before, right? You know, what I was saying, it's an everyday thing, it's an every minute thing. And, um, you know, it says he's faithful to forgive us. And uh, if we say we're not a sinner, then, then that yeah. makes that makes him a liar, which he's not. And yeah. he's saying, God's telling us. You know, to cleanse ourselves every day, every moment. Yes. Uh, before work, in the morning, before we go to sleep at night, and uh, make sure that we're covered by that blood. Amen. So we are sinners. We have fallen short of the glory of God, but we are forgiven as we seek His forgiveness. Forgiveness is not universal. It's only to those who come to Jesus and say, "Forgive me, Lord." I make you Lord. So we 
it's not a universal forgiveness here. It is a very specialized forgiveness because we have free will. We can choose to be forgiven, or we can choose to live like we like we used to live, and I wouldn't recommend that at all. So, yes. uh, panel, what else we got here? Yeah, without yeah. God, you're nothing, man. Amen. That's the way it is, man. You just you just walk around unhappy all day long. And Amen. Do people wrong? It's not the way to live. God wants. You to, I, I'm changing slowly. You are. I can't. Do, I can't do it all at once because I rebuilt. I gave my life to God a long time ago. I've been trying to live live my own life and stuff, but I want to um, do the right thing and get back on track and stuff. And you're doing that. You are back he's, on track. He's, he's got just... a better plan for me than uh, living in this world with these people because these people don't care about me, man. Yeah, that's right. The people at church care about you. That's true. The people that congregate with God care about everybody. That's it's just nice. It's a lot better than what it used to be. Amen. I was homeless with nothing, man. Walking the streets, yeah. doing drugs, drinking. Where did it get me? <laughs> but I'm glad that I did because it brought me back here. That's right. Sister, thoughts on these? We said we are um, walking with God and we decided to remind to leave sin and sin alone. Many of us don't act in the right way. We may seem like we are sinners. We don't try to change. Yes. We still want to go to this party and still abolish our son. This sinful behavior. Yes. We still have it. Which is not, um, but we not think it. We have to try it one day at a time. That's right. So we're transformed by the word of God, by our loving relationship with the Savior who forgives our sins. We're transformed by worship, by fellowship, yeah. and by compassion. So yeah. that it's just such a, it feels like I've breezed over these verses, and they are so critical. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and righteous to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and righteous to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and righteous to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. It is it is the pivotal verse for us that there's a confession involved, and then he is faithful and just. If we don't confess our sins, or if we think we have not sinned, we, we call him a liar, and, and that's not true. We have sinned. We need to be daily confessing our sins moment by moment and let it not build up. Uh, amen. 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 I think uh, that, that speaking it out sometimes for me yeah. is like being audible and asking forgiveness out loud. I even learned to uh, read my Bible every day out loud. Yes. And there's something in the spoken voice that really seems to have helped me. Amen. You know? Amen. Lord, we thank you for dying for us, for forgiving our sins, for, for the incredible payment of the cross. We thank you, O oh God, for the agony that you suffered so that our sins would be covered. Let us be a blessing this day. Let us walk it out. Let us not be hypocritical in our lives, but be constantly forgiven and seeking your presence. Transform us, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Time, time for each of you to pray. Amen. Well, thank uh, you, Lord, again for your word and your spirit uh, in this incredible passage that takes us from the dawn of everything, the very beginning, to the manifestation of Jesus in the flesh the flesh that was laid down for our remission of sin that we may have as a continuous resource as we seek the light and struggle with our walk. We have him as our resource to yeah. continue to refresh us and renew us. We pray for you and we trust boldly in your continued leadership that we might live lives that are a blessing to you yeah. in Yeshua's name. Amen. Somebody else close in prayer. I mean, pray now. Thank you, Lord, for this day. I ask that you help each of us to walk in your will. Yes. Send us who you will to our to our way that we may share Christ with them 
in our actions and our duties, Lord God. I ask you to touch each and every one of us and protect us as we go forth in this day and the evil of this world, Lord God, that you put a hedge of protection around each and every one of us, and especially our pastors and his flock. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 As we go about our business today, God, guide us, guide our step, our walk. I remember you in Jesus' mighty name, we have for your protection, for good health, prosperity, and success in long life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we could preach and every one of you in, in your hands this morning, God. We thank you again for love and prosperity. In Jesus' mighty name, I say thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 All Get right. close. All right. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Thank you, Father God. Oh, man. What a block, but I got to do this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord, I love Thank you for it's another day. Good, Thank you for Bob. God blessing us, Lord, and watch over all, all of us, all my brothers and sisters here. Yeah. Pour your mercy. Give us favor where we go, Lord. Yeah. And watch over us and love us. Yeah. Maybe the 24 elders bowed out to you in the throne room. Thank you, the king. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Have a blessed day, all. Thank you. Thanks, wow. guys. Walk it Thank out. you. Same. Amen. See ya. Bye, Rich.